Hello, today I will be giving you six albums that changed my life. So, and this is in no particular order, so let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start off with Meteora by Leakin Park. So, I, I usually point to this album as the album that got me into rock and metal because, I mean, before Leakin Park and all those bands, I kind of listened to whatever my parents liked, like Tom Petty and stuff like that. And then I heard Numb somewhere, and I liked it, but it didn't convince me to check out the rest of their stuff. But then I heard From the Inside, and after that, and I heard that song in, like, in my living room or something like that. And after that, I, I just looked for the CD, because I know we have the CD somewhere in, the, in my living room. And then I remember transferring the songs to my iTunes library and stuff like that. But yeah, Meteor was that album that got me into new metal and then new metal eventually got me into other genres of metal or subgenres and it's still an album for me that holds up i pretty much love every song on this album and i love the rapping i love the singing i love everything about it pretty much and without this album i probably would have never discovered so many great bands like three days of grace or pod or Red or um, Breaking Benjamin, many other bands, but Meteora, definitely important, an important album that was in my life and still is. So next we have Recovery by Eminem. This is the rap album that I point to when it comes to talking about the album that got me into rap. And I remember in sixth grade, someone showed me the song Not Afraid and after hearing that song, I was very interested in checking out more songs from the Recovery album, and I digged the album immediately, and that ended up being my first Eminem album. Then, of course, I checked out the rest of his discography, and then after that, I looked out, I, I searched for more rappers to check out and stuff like that, and yeah, Eminem was a gateway rapper for me. Without him, I would have never discovered so many other rappers that I'm into now. So next we have Black Album by Metallica. So this was the album that got me into more heavier metal, you know, like thrash metal and maybe progressive and maybe progressive metal. But w without this album, I probably would have never discovered, obviously, Megadeth or Anthrax or Overkill. And I eventually, of course, eventually, I looked into their influences and I would and I discovered. Led Zeppelin and Black Sabbath and many other bands but yeah the Black Album is the album that I point to when it comes to albums that got me into heavier music but yeah I can't thank this album enough for helping me discover so many great bands but next we have Corn by Corn, their debut self-titled album. For I remember when I was younger, this was an album that I went to a lot when I was like unhappy or depressed with life or really angry with people, kind of an angsty type of deal, but it's still an album that I really enjoy. I mean, it's a fairly dark album, the lyrics and the stuff like that. While I didn't really relate to most of the lyrics on the album, it was still a, an album that helped me through hard times when I was younger. and. Once in a while, it's still an album that I go back to if, if I'm upset today or if I'm just like angry about life or college or whatever. It's an album that I go back to still when I'm unhappy. And even if I'm happy, even if I'm actually happy or pretty much satisfied with life, I still listen to the album too. But this has always been an album that I really enjoyed though. And again, helped me through hard times. Next we have Moving Pictures by Rush. I would have never gotten into more progressive or complex music without this album. Without this album I would have never discovered bands like Yes or even stuff in like progressive metal like Dream Theater and uh, Symphony X. This is a good album to start with if you're getting into prog music. But yeah, it's a great album and it's still an album that holds up for me and of course it's my favorite. Rush album, but yeah, it's, it's just a really excellent album, and Rush is one of my favorite bands right now. And now, my last album, Good Kid, Mad City by Kendrick Lamar. 
So, for the longest time, um, well, I don't know if I'd say long though. Maybe it only lasted like maybe like a year or two. For the longest time, I thought that Eminem was the only good mainstream rap artist out there. But um, I remember I had an MP3 player in seventh grade, and um, it had a radio on it. Um, it had it gave you the option to listen to the radio, and on that MP3 player, you could like. Um, save certain uh, music stations on the radio thing like and stuff like that and um i remember listening to swimming pools for the first time and just being really fascinated by the beat and kendrick's flow in the song and of course after hearing that song i checked out the rest of the album you know poetic justice bitch don't kill my vibe compton and many other songs it's just a it was a really a very important album for me because I would have never discovered more mainstream rap artists out there like J. Cole and Drake and Travis Scott. But there's many rappers I would have never got into without this album. And this is an album that I still enjoy and it still puts a smile on my face, especially with songs like Sing About Me and, uh, of course, Swimming Pools. But yeah, it's just a really great album. And... Yeah, it still holds up, but yep, that's my, those are my six albums. Let me know some albums that changed your life, and of course, leave a comment and a like, sub, and of course, have a nice day, and take care.